Providence College hockey fans, welcome to This Week in Friars Hockey. I'm Nick Rojas. It's been a while. Yes, it's been a few weeks since our last episode, but in the meantime, the Friars are busy. They rattle off a few wins that help them clinch their sixth straight NCAA tournament appearance. They'll now play the Minnesota State Mavericks this weekend in the first round. On today's edition of the show, we catch up with Coach Lehman and Caster Bjorkvist in their media availability after the selection show this past Sunday. All that and more coming up on This Week in Friars Hockey. Let's start the show. This is like a new lease on life for you. Uh, it's a new beginning. I mean, you know, just like the playoffs, I thought we had a, a good regular season. We earned our way in. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's what you work for all season. And I think the guys are really excited because it's, it's finally here. You talked about the body of work. I felt overall we were deserving of a spot. Yeah, I think we were really deserving of a spot because we played on the road a lot. We played a very uh, tough non-conference schedule. We went 7-2-3 and three in that non-conference schedule. And, uh, and we finished second in our league. You know, So um, I, I thought we were very deserving. I thought we were, uh, you know, I know when we play our game, we're definitely one of the upper teams in the country. Can you talk about what it was like for you watching those games last night? Uh, I wasn't watching them, <laughs> so uh, I, I didn't watch the games. Uh, but uh, I just tried to stay busy and you know and uh, check the scores uh, between periods there, basically. Is that to save your own stress level, or yeah. were you just busy with other stuff? I think my wife would have killed me if I was check if I was watching the games. To be honest with you, <laughs> um, so you know, I mean, you don't you can't control that stuff. Um, that's part of it. Um, we we. We allowed, you know, when we lost to Boston College, that became our, our fate a little bit. We had to wait and watch other people play. So, uh, you know, you can't control it, so it's it's not worth uh, using too much energy on. Can you talk about getting to play at the dunk? Yeah, I mean, it's great. I mean, it's the third time we've done it now. Uh, you know, we're, we're big thanks to Brown University uh, for hosting there uh, because I know it's, it's a great regional. It's a site. I know the other teams that come in all the time, uh, when I see them uh, at our convention down in Florida, they always coming up to me and telling me what a great site it is. So, you know, it, it's good. I'm glad they put us there. They, it, it helps attendance, and um, we want the dunk to continue to be successful with attendance so they'll continue to host because it's a special place for college hockey. What do you expect from Minnesota State? Heavy. Uh, I think they're going to be heavy. Uh, they're, they're a lot older. Uh, from watching some games today, they're, uh, you know, they, get, they have a good top line. Good power play. The last time he didn't make it to the Garden uh, and then went on to the tournament was, it was 15, I believe, and he won, he won it all. Any parallels? I think there's a lot of parallels. I mean, I think there's a lot of parallels. But that was then and this is now. And, and I don't think, um, I mean, I think the only advantage of, of having been through it once is that you can, uh, you can help guide him and, um, and kind of let them know what to expect. But, you know, the game's still played on the ice, um, and it'll be a great game Saturday. Six straight years, what does that mean to you? Just consistency. Just, you know, uh, the level of consistency of the program. That's, uh, I think it's the second longest streak now in the nation. So uh, we're very proud of that. Um, but, uh, you know, now it's, now it's that's, a, that's a step. But now we want to make sure we, we get this opportunity and we're taking advantage of it. Game time Saturday, I believe, is 1 p.m. That's not the time you guys usually play. Any uh, any thoughts on uh, on an early game like that? Any place, anywhere, anyhow. Let's go play. You know. Um, so, no, it's uh, it, in some ways it's good. So you're not sitting around all day. You know, uh, we'll, we'll we're fine with the one o'clock start. I actually like playing the, starting the tournament on the second day also because I think when your guys are able to watch some of the games on Friday on TV or stuff that that breaks up the nerves a little bit. What time is Kirby Friday night? Friday night? Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Same time every night. <laughs> so. Um, when you saw your name up on that screen, what was the first feeling you thought? Uh, I mean, exciting times. Uh, every year uh, when you hear in your, your name, it's kind of, uh, you, first off, you're grateful to, to be able to play for, for a school that's been there now. I think it's the fifth time, right? Sixth, Sixth. wow. So I mean, it's first of all, it's uh, it just shows uh, what kind of program Providence College is, what kind of coach Coach Lehman is, and I think uh, with this team, it's uh, obviously we were we kind of uh, 
in a sense, we had luck there to get in the tournament. We, the scores went our way, our way and I, I think you need that uh, when it's a long season. And I think we, we deserve that luck for sure. So uh, I think it's just kind of, first off, you're grateful and then you're just uh, excited to wait and, uh, and, and play. I guess the question I should have asked, what was your reaction when Northeastern won last night? Uh, grateful again, <laughs> because uh, we watched the game from start to beginning uh, to, to the end. and. And it started off looking very good for us, and then it, it kind of uh, kind of changed, and, and BC really looked looked good there. So uh, uh, happy it went our way. Do you know anything about Minnesota State? Do you know any players there? Uh, not really. We uh, we had uh, we actually switched to the other game after we uh, we saw uh, saw Northeastern win, and we watched them, and, and some of my roommates uh, knew a lot of the guys actually, and a lot of guys definitely played USHL. So uh, so I think uh, there's definitely guys who. Who knows a lot of uh, knows a lot about the other the other team, but uh, for me personally, I don't really know anyone. It's too far from Finland. <laughs> what about this roller coaster of emotion over the last two weeks? You know, when we talked to coach after your last game, he thought your season was over. So just kind of how you keep your head right, and, you know, know that there was still a possibility for your season to live on. I mean, we kind of uh, right after the game, it looked bad, but then uh, the next day, right away, our score uh, the score went uh, Colorado College went our way. So in that sense, after that, we were just kind of. We knew what the situation. We kind of right away we agreed all to just uh, kind of have the mentality of we're in instead of thinking maybe maybe we won't be. So kind of have that mentality as yes, we're in and just start start preparing. And I, I mean we got a couple of good lifts in and, and that way kind of uh, we got that that week off from playing, which uh, hopefully will be beneficial. Can the toughness of this team carry you for a couple of weekends? What's that? Can the toughness of this team carry you for a couple of weekends? I think uh, I think this team is tough, and I think uh, I think we can uh, we can go forward from here. You had a pretty good season, you think, personally? Um, uh, sure. I think uh, I think uh, I've uh, I've been lucky enough to play with uh, with Josh Wilkins and Jack Dugan uh, for for a big part of the season, and uh, and I think. Uh, We've been scoring, and in a sense, uh, personally, I, I still think uh, your personal season as for a player like me is mostly regarding the sense of how your team does. I'm, I'm the kind of player who looks good when the team looks good. So uh, we'll see how, how my season will end and, and how, look, how good I will look. For the goal scoring, the playmaking, has been pretty consistent? Uh, yeah, I've been happy with that uh, to some extent, uh, but I think... Uh, in that sense, too, we need to uh, kind of maybe take a step now, uh, score in big games. That's, uh, but yeah, as I said, the team at this point, it's uh, when the team looks good, every player looks good. Playing at the dunk, what's that going to be like, you know, in your home city? Oh, it's going to be awesome. Uh, it's 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 interesting how I came from Finland and and uh, and I had no idea about what I like about America, what like how what's going to be the thing, and now it's. Now I realize I've become a Patriots fan, and, and this is going to be my home city for forever uh, because it's going to be the first place I ever, ever came to. So in that sense, it's it's an amazing opportunity to play back at Dunk again. Freshman year, it was all new for me, so that's I think the number one thing right now is just to kind of take that in and enjoy the fact of being close to home. You never knew what a friar was before you got on campus. Oh no, uh, no, I didn't, and. Uh, but yeah, the Providence Friars are tough, and and the Friars, uh, Dominican Friars, are very great people. I've learned a lot about from from many Friars. So uh, yeah. For a preview of the matchup with the Mavericks, we send it down now to Mike Demars. Mike, thanks, Nick. On Saturday, the Friars will skate against the WCHA champion Minnesota State Mavericks in the first round of the NCAA hockey tournament. Minnesota State is led by forward Mark Michaelis. The junior from Germany leads the team with 19 goals and 41 total points. Michaelis's nine power play goals and two shorthanded goals were both the second highest total in their respective categories in the NCAA this season. The second leading scorer for the Mavericks is junior forward Parker Toomey, who has recorded a team high 25 assists and 39 total points. Like his linemate Michaelis, Toomey is also from Germany. In net for the Mavericks will be freshman Dryden McKay. The Illinois native is the son of former professional goaltender Ross McKay whose lone NHL appearance came with the Hartford Whalers. The younger McKay has had an outstanding first season for Minnesota State, going 24-6-2 with a 1.65 goals against average. This will be the ninth all-time matchup between Providence and Minnesota State. 
The Friars have gone 6-2 in the previous eight matchups. The winner of this contest will take on the winner of Cornell and Northeastern in the East Regional Final at 4 o'clock on Sunday. And the winner of that will compete in the Frozen Four in Buffalo, New York in two weeks. That's your weekend preview. Sending it back to you, Nick. Thank you so much, Mike. Saturday's game is at 1 p.m. at the Dunkin' Donuts Center. For ticket information, head to DunkinDonutsCenter.com. If you can't make it out, you can watch the game on ESPN News or listen to it on the radio on 104.7 FM News Radio. It's tournament time, so we'll have all the behind-the-scenes coverage for you on the Friars this week at the Dunkin' Donuts Center. Follow along on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and at Friars.com. That's all for this week in Friars Hockey. We hope to do it again next week. Until then, I'm Nick Rojas. Have a great day, everybody. Yeah.